Okay, so guys, we're gonna start from the mount, all right? Now, how this is gonna work is we're gonna do the omoplata, all right? And I'm gonna try to teach the coordination from the top part so you can understand the finish. All the omoplata is, is a kimura, but it's done with your legs, so they call it a leg-driven kimura, right? So what I want you to do is we're gonna sit just like this on the mount, and I'm gonna pick an arm. I'm gonna pick the arm, I'm gonna pluck it, and when I pluck it, I'm gonna pull it to my belt, and I'm gonna lift my leg up, and I'm gonna literally bust it right over the top, just like that, okay? Sitting on him nice and good. Now, from here, he is on his side. I need the, um, the ookie just to keep this hand kinda tight, nice and in, just like that, so we don't hurt anything else. Now, all I'm gonna do now is reach down and grab his belt right to here, so I got something to hold on to, and I'm gonna just sit and take this leg over the top right to here and I'm gonna roll him flat, okay? Now, this is super tight. The other thing is, is he's very flat, which is gonna be the fight when we attack the omoplata from guard, okay? So this is what I want him to look like. I want him to be flat. I want my uh, inner knee to be locked into his inner elbow, okay? From here, I got, I can have belt, I can have gi, your other arm for a second. I can just hook the arm. Some people are gonna want a triangle, not necessary, to finish. All I'm gonna do is just turn my legs out. His hand is stuck on my hip, and I literally just rock forward. Because a kimura is just this, here, like that, and I'm gonna take his hand circularly, just like that, okay? So, like I said, the easiest way to do this, to show just some basic stuff, is to do it from the mount. And this is also a mount attack, okay? Because sometimes coconuts will like put their hands on your hips like this, like that, and then he'll try to shrimp me. And when he does that, I pluck, and I just sit up, and boom, I hop over the top here, and I just rock forward. Now, if your hand gets stuck, and you can't tap, yell it, tap. Don't say ow, don't say stop, say tap. There, boom, just like that, and then we're done. Okay? So, how I would like to do this is I would like everybody to get their partner. One person lay down, head facing this way, and we're going to have all of our bodies pointing that way, and then I'm going to call it out. Okay? The coach kind of super busy. Really so, I would like everybody to get your partner. The person with the most experience, you're on the mount first. Okay? So, let's do that. One, two, three. Then you have to be able to maintain the guard, then you can attack the guard, okay? So, first little drill we're gonna do. Deep lay down in your back. He's gonna put his feet on my hips. His feet on my hips, there you go. I'm gonna just do a run around pass, called a bullfighter fighter pass. Once I start coming around, he's gonna check my legs. I'll, you wanna switch me? Okay, now watch. So here's his first little thing. As he pushes in, and he starts coming around my legs. Here, I'm already defending. Boom, shin in, foot to the hip, and then I swing. He starts coming around. Here, boom, I'm already just checking. Shin in, foot to the hip, swing in. Super smooth. He's not coming super aggressive. We're just learning how to time it. He starts coming, bang. Wow, just like that. Okay, one more time. Here, just like that. Simple, like 10 and 10, really quick. Just do that. All right, all heads facing that way. One, two, three. So now what we're going to do first, we're going to do just a couple attribute drills, okay? First attribute drill, I just put my feet on his hips. My toes are facing outward like this, and then I'm going to lift my butt. When I lift my butt, I round my back. All Dave's going to do is just keep posture, and he's just going to circle. So when he starts circling this way, boom, he circles the other way. So give me like a complete circle. Complete circle this way, boom, and then a complete circle the other way, boom, just like that. Super simple, this isn't complicated, but what we want to develop is first, sticky feet, boom, boom. The second thing is, is I don't want to be flat. If he starts moving and I'm flat, start moving, boom, the, the friction, he's just going to blow through me, okay? So i got to stay round, and I'm just going to let him do the work, okay? So he starts moving, uh-huh, he 
goes the other way, he starts moving, and he's doing all the work. But I'm also building a skill. Don't be lazy, put your weight on him, okay? Make, it, make him work, okay? So we're gonna do that to do a complete circle left, a complete circle right, and then just keep switching. We'll do it for like two minutes, okay? One, two, three. Very big, okay? I'm gonna try to keep it contained for our theme, okay? But just here, just playing around, okay? See here? If he starts moving that way, I really only need that foot. Okay? If he moves that way, I really only need that foot. So when that foot, when he goes that way, I drop my hook, and you see that here I can get the leg entangled, right? Which is really great. Or two, if he starts going that way, and I start hooking, then from here I can start getting other positions. So base position, this is what I refer to as home base. Double feet on the hips. I got double feet on the hips. I can have what we call a hip and a hook. On the inside, if he puts a leg in between me here, this is a hip and a hook on the outside, right? They call this daily hip, right? I can be double hooks, him standing, this is what we call butterfly. Here, this is called X card. This is called underhook X card, sorry, keep standing. This is called single leg X. There's so many different leg entanglements. The first one that you should learn is just feet on the hips. It's super simple. We're gonna start just like this. I'm gonna get across sleeper. He is gonna stand. Just put your hands on my belly, boom, you have my legs open. I go feet to here, boom. Now, I got a cross collar grip and a sleeve grip, okay? He's now gonna spin on me again. Start spinning. Boom, here, again the other way, here, just like that. So what I'm doing is I'm still lifting my hips, I'm keeping a, what we call the clamp now. The clamp action is I'm pushing and pulling at the same time, and I'm making him work. So now he starts working on me, boom, here, boom, here, just like that. But it can't be like this, because you see how his posture's broken? Come back down for one second. Here, when he starts to stand on me, stand all the way up to be great posture. See now he's winning. See how I look like I'm losing? Can't have that. I need to win. So I got that push pull action. See, my hips are up, I'm fully engaged, and I'm keeping a clamp on him. If he starts to move on me in any way, shape, or form, who's doing all the work? He is. So we got to learn now the next piece, which is the clamp. Okay? So we had our feet on the hips, we practiced just being good mobily. Now he stands, I get that clamp on him, and I'm holding him, I'm making it work. And two, I am literally. Pulling my uh, elbow to my hip, and I'm literally hanging on. I mean, like, I have no energy in this. It's just all him, okay? So I'm just hanging on, and it just makes him tired, okay? So we're gonna do that now. So start from the guard, get your cross collar grip, they stand, feet to the hips, stretch them with the clamp, the circle left, the circle right, stop, and then switch. One, two, three. If I'm on the bottom, I, I want to control the opening of the door. Okay? So if it ain't working out and he's busting his butt back and my feet are prying, screw it. I'm just going to open my guard and accelerate. Because I want to keep the advantage. Does that make sense? Okay. It's not the end of the world if I'm here. And the other thing that I want to be very clear about this arm is I literally pin this to my bottom. Okay? I don't hold it out like that because that makes your shoulder tight. I learned to just keep it on my body. I got the grip. Now, when I'm gripping just like this, everything looks like uh, nothing is engaged right now. You'll know, because watch Dave's face. Because when I engage, I bring my hips up and his head down. All my weight is on. And I'm just hanging, dude. Relax. The more you learn to relax here, the better. The more energy you'll conserve. He starts to stand. He's already struggling. Oh, boom, my feet go up. So I push him back, and I got his posture. Okay, so this is gonna be our position. First move we're gonna do, okay, super simple. All right, since I have this arm right here, this foot is very secure, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is bring my other hand, my other foot, I'm gonna bring it back to here and I'm gonna literally find his bicep. And when I do that, I'm gonna clamp it to his body, just like that. Now, I got it clamped. All I'm gonna do now is lift my hips up higher, whip his arm, Okay, rip his arm, pull him in, and 
cross my feet, just like that, right into triangle position. I'm maintaining the head grip, okay, until I get him down, broken down. Now from here, okay, I gotta clear the arm. So I'm gonna lift, clear the arm. I put the hand in the pocket. Once I put it in the pocket right to here, I come over the top, okay? I re-clinch his head and squeeze. The re-clinching of the head stops him from popping his head up. Now, the inside arm right here is blocking his arm and holding his head. This now gives me a free hand. I never unlock my feet until I'm ready. Now I'm ready. I reach up and grab my ankle. Now I unlock my feet. Did I ever unlock my feet? No, because it's still locked, okay? Foot now comes to the hip. I adjust, I adjust, I adjust until I lock it in place. Now, I am not blessed with beautiful long legs. So me locking it in completely behind my knee, it's just not for me. If I'm fighting somebody my size or bigger. If I'm fighting like you, I'm dead. Okay, it's gonna be right there. But I still treat it the same way. I get to here, I lock it in place on the back of my calf. Okay, if you get it to here, you're solid. If you can't, I go as far down as I can until I can't go any further. Then I turn my heel and rotate my leg in and I make that little triangle smaller. And then I bite, okay? Okay, so from here, let's just finish the triangle and then we'll go back. So boom, I'm here, I got my tie clinch, squeezing, so I pull and stretch. Get my ankle, quarter turn, quarter turn. Get it behind my calf, I watch that hole. Just by turning that and biting and squeezing. Boom. And that's your tap. Okay? So, let's start back over. Here, sleeve grip. Collar grip. I'm already pressuring. He's like, I don't want to be here. So he starts to stand. Fine. I'm going to push him back and I'm going to get my clamp. Now, here, I've got my stretch. I bring my leg back. I don't drop my leg. I put that there. Hips are up. Foot to the bicep. Start pinching. I'm gonna lift and yank. Whap, so I pull him in nice and tight, and I just bite, shoulder walk, until he's down. Now, bump, clear the arm, cup the head. Just keep the cup in the head to control, grab your far ankle, flip to the hip, quarter turn, quarter turn. Lock it in, rotate that knee, and squeeze. Okay, and that's, that's like a whole lot of beef and cheese. Everybody think they can do it? Let's try it. One, two, three. Same, same everything. So we're here, just like this. I got my grip. Here, he starts to stand on me. Here, I decide now, I don't want to be here no more. Now, the people that struggle with the triangle, I'm going to give you a solution. Okay, so I got my stretch. If I can't come on the inside and pummel, here, I'll just come on the outside and pummel. Right? And now I'm going to lift. Now, be specific on this when I when I pull him into the um when I pull him into my triangle setup. I'm gonna lift here and I'm gonna rip his arm this way. So as I do that, I rip it this way and I climb in for the triangle. Okay? Now, for me to triangle him, I gotta lift and clear. Now, most people, once you've been triangle a bunch of times and you get yanked in, most people just move this arm over there anyway. So once I get into here, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch and up. So I yank it over to here and I just kind of buckle it on the hand. Now what I'm going to do is lift my hips and twist and force him to post over here. See that? Because if he doesn't, he's going to fall flat on his face. Now from here, I grab his wrist. I give him a little pump a and pop him more up. Boom. And just tap. Now, that's the formal way. Pump. Wrist grip and twist. It's not necessary if you don't want to. I just keep the stretch and I literally put put it like his hand, put his hand in my in the holster. I literally cup his elbow just like this and pull it to my belly and I just push. And that's just as easy. If you can't get the full on grip, just pull that to your belly and slide your hand up your way. Okay? And this is by far one of my favorite moves. Now, if you're dealing with a person that knows what's happening, this is the setup to get their arm on the other side, okay? Which is cool too. And if you don't put your arm down, it's not a big deal. Here, 
boom. He starts standing on me. I say, screw it. I stretch, boom, I get to here. I lift and get his arm. Boom, see how it's already setting up? As I start to cross and I stretch him away, see my angle? I want my spine on his shoulder line. And I just literally just get that grip, pull his elbow, pump his hand. And it's beautiful. If he happens to stretch his arm, just like this, I can lock it this way, wrist locking, or I can sit over, boom, and then hit that roll. There's a whole lot of follow. For now, don't buy into all that stuff. Do the move that I showed, because you need that base for me. Okay, think we can make that happen? One, two, three, two minutes on that. And I got one more move, and then we're wrestling. Okay. So we're just gonna keep this same approach. Okay, so the thing about, can this be done other ways? Yes, it can be done so many different, different ways. I'm trying to keep it done in the same order, the same fashion, so it has continuity, so you can apply, you can go from the feet on the hips, sleeve collar position, and try to make moves work, okay? So from here down, what's gonna happen is he's gonna stand up, boom, I get my grips, okay, just like this. Now, what, what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna do all the same stuff, I'm gonna go to here just like this, and instead, I'm gonna pull all the same stuff. I'm gonna lift my hips. Now, instead of this foot right here coming over there and me crossing my feet, I'm gonna keep that pressure on the bicep. I'm gonna lift my hips up, bite. This leg's only gonna come over, okay? Now, when it comes over, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna keep pulling his head down, and I'm gonna start inching this way until I get him literally flat on his face. Remember this position now? Yeah. And then from here, I either block the hip, or I control the wrist, or I grab the collar, and then, boom, hit the omoplata, okay? So this one now is gonna require a little bit more breaking down. So as I pull him, he's gonna post his hand. Fine. He's gonna post his hand again. More, 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 until he is flat. Okay? Because I can't almost applaud to him when he's on his knees and his elbows. So like this right here, watch. Here, just like this, see how he's just right there? This isn't good for me. Because right now, Dave is stronger than me. Because all he's gotta do is pop his head back up. Bah! And he's strong, or he can hop over. So when I'm doing this here, you're gonna see my leg stretch. He'll post his hand probably right there. Boom. Now from here, I just keep pulling and circling until I just get him flat. Okay? And then I start coming up and then I finish. The finish from the guard is a little more work. Okay? Because I gotta keep pumping him out and flattening him out until I can get to the position. Okay? So last move. All the same stuff. Right here. Boom, he stands. I'm up. I got my position, I start coming here. A lot of times he's gonna grab that knee. See that right there? Because he wants to be like pushing my leg off. So he push my leg off. So he's doing that, push my leg off, cool. Boom, just like that. Bump, clear the arm. So I'm already putting it in my pocket, and then from here, I slide it over. Hump, 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 hump. Capture something. Pull yourself up. Keep circling until you get the position. It's working. Okay, last move. One, two, three. What I would focus on next, it would be isolated 50% sparring. That would be the focus. Because we're in a position, and it, what happens is, is you learn a bunch of moves, and it's like, okay, let's spar, and you don't do any of it. Or you never get into the position. Well, so there's learn the moves, sparring, and then there's a whole lot of space in between that, right? Which, sucks and so it should be isolated training <clears throat> meaning how Dave and I should be playing is like this actually switch me we'll start feet on the hips hand in the collar okay and I told you you got to be able to maintain these positions I'm going to be pushing I'm going to be pulling I'm going to be trying to get that leg off this is an opportunity for Dave to be working now Saying? So now I just give him energy 
50% energy. Sometimes I do something dumb, sometimes I don't. Why are you going to do lots of dumb shit? Okay? Which is okay. You have to. You have to fail. It's the only way you get to perform. Okay? Once you start to learn how to not fail, you're going to do really well, and then you're going to fail somewhere else. But the idea now is to play. So now I come in and start grabbing David. He gets his position. Oh, I'm trying to scoop him. I'm trying to ask. He's got to work. His first priority is what? Maintain the position. The second priority is to attack. If he loses position, so let's say I get to here. He aborts and gets back his position. Boom. Come on, trip, 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 trip. Boom. We're back to here. He grips. I stand up. I don't want to be here. And then he's back to playing again. Does that make sense? So that's how we stay in the realm. And we play. That play is the in-between to full spark. Okay? And that has to happen. And a lot of people don't do it, a lot of gyms don't do it, they don't break down or isolate sparring. But sparring is the most necessary part because jujitsu, unlike a lot of other styles of martial arts, for the, the second you learn something, this is this uh, you can test it. And you make it work and not work. A lot of arts, you know, traditionally have multiple black belts, different styles. And you learn blocks and this and that, and punch and block and this and that, or this or that or whatever. But you, you wait to a certain level to contest it. Which means you see if it works or not. Right? Jiu-Jitsu is like first class, bumps, shrimps, cool. You're gonna get out of the bottom of the mount. Go. And that is what makes jujitsu so great. Is the contesting, okay? But there are levels of, of contesting, right? We Instead of going straight from learn the move to 100% sparring, let's back it off a little bit. Let's let this guy work. You know what I mean? Here, I'm gonna just, he's gonna be on his back. He, I'm gonna just start moving on him. This and that, he's gonna get his grips. Here, he gets his grips. He starts making, I'm just moving around. He, oh man, oh, there's no clock work. Need the face. You know what I mean? He starts working. Then off. Back. Back up. Do it again. Moving around, moving around. Come on, test it again. You landed in that one. Okay, so you see what I'm saying? So that's the idea. So basic theme was open guard. And uh, we did a couple moves and we did get to the open guard by re-guarding, by standing up from guard. We learned about the clamp by holding the guard. Then we attacked the triangle. We attacked the Kimura from the triangle. And then we attacked the Kimura. And that's a lot of stuff. Cool. Anything else? Guys, thank you so much. Uh, we're going to go ahead and line up really quick. Dave's got some announcements.